Penny George was looking for a student flat to rent in Coventry. She advertised online and was contacted by a man posing as a landlord. He emailed pictures and terms of the lease, but before she could view the flat, she was asked to prove that she could afford it. He wanted me to transfer some money through MoneyGram or Western Union to a friend or family member, and he said that it didn't matter that I was transferring the money because it, wouldn't, it would be staying within me, he kept saying. It wouldn't be going to him or no one, he wouldn't be able to pick it up, etc., etc., and then I'd have to show, them, show him a copy of the receipt to prove that I'd done the transaction. Posing as her boyfriend, the scammers took Penny's money from branches in Manchester and London. She lost £1,600. Now, this scam is particularly clever because the criminals aren't asking you to transfer the money to them, so it seems foolproof, but it's not. Because once they have a copy of the receipt, they can then fake the recipient's ID and take the money out from any of these officers. Consumers need to be better educated, but at the same time, money transfer companies need to take on the responsibility. There are things they can do to tighten up the level of security. Western Union and MoneyGram say they have robust security procedures and advise customers not to hand over details to third parties. But until the industry is regulated in the way that banks and credit card companies are, then people like Penny have absolutely no protection against fraudsters. Anna Adams, BBC News.